a one-step way to lose your account forever. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. I've been dealing with people having lost their accounts, their important accounts, their email accounts, their other online accounts forever since well, since I started Ask Leo, it is one of the most common scenarios that I've been dealing with since 2003. And the problem, the frustration that I feel with this situation when it happens is that 99 times out of 100, it is so easily, easily prevented. And yet it happens again and again. I think literally every day I hear about somebody who's lost their account, they can't recover it, and they are faced with losing everything that's in that account, like I said, forever. Now, if you wanted to do that, how would you? Well, it's really pretty simple. The thing to do is something you shouldn't do. If you want to lose your account forever, don't set up your recovery information. And if you did set up recovery information, don't keep it up to date. Literally, that is how people are losing access to their accounts. They set up an email account. We'll use an email account as an example, maybe years ago. And as part of setting up that account, they maybe will set up an alternate email address. Years pass they lose access to their account for some reason. Maybe it gets hacked, maybe they forgot their password, whatever. They have to go through the recovery process for that account. That recovery process then tries to send an email to that alternate email address. What the account holder had forgotten though, was to keep that alternate email address working. That one they lost for lack of use or maybe they didn't set it up in the first place. The bottom line is that their recovery process that relies on an alternate email address won't work because the alternate email address doesn't work. Similarly, lots of people have concerns about the phone. A lot of people are very concerned, particularly with their Gmail accounts, that Google's insistence on a phone number associated with the account is some form of additional tracking. You know what? Google's got lots of ways to track you. They don't need your phone number. What they do need your phone number for is account recovery. And the same scenario happens. People either intentionally don't give a phone number with their account set up, or they have a phone number, they configure a phone number, and then at some point after configuring that phone number as the recovery contact information, they get a new phone with a new number and their old number gets assigned to somebody else. Even in the days that we're now in where you can easily port your number to a new device, people are still not doing that for whatever reason. There may be a very valid reason for doing that. The point is though, that the phone number that they configured with their account originally is no longer their phone number. That means recovery codes texted to that phone don't go through or they go to somebody else completely. The important thing is they don't go to you. And that means that that too is no longer a valid way to recover your account. So if you don't have an up-to-date alternate email address associated with your account and you don't have an up-to-date phone number associated with your account, that's a great way to lose the account forever. Because if you ever need to try and recover your account, you won't be able to. It's as simple as that. It's as frustrating as that for me because it is so easily prevented. It is so easy to just make sure that that information is configured from the beginning and keep it up to date. When you get a new phone, remember that you're using that phone number as your recovery phone number. Run around and update all the places that use it or port your number. Or if you lose access to your alternate email address, run around and change the alternate email address on all the accounts that happen to use it. You want that safety net to be in place and you want it to be 
current. So my admonition, my recommendation, my plea, since I see this so very often, is that I so strongly recommend you to please set up the alternate authentication mechanisms or recovery methods for your important accounts. Do it for every account, but at least do it for the important accounts. And then keep it up to date. Please keep it up to date. When things change, make sure that you've got that change reflected in all the places that they should be. And if you're not sure, if this is something that you actually did set up, then run around right now to your important accounts and just check the security information that's associated with each one. Is it still a phone number that you have? Is it still an email address that you have access to? Even if they're still using security questions, are those still current, correct? And would you remember the answers if asked? If they have an opportunity to set up something like a dedicated recovery code, something I've talked about with respect to Microsoft accounts, maybe create one of those and save it in a safe place. All of these are incredibly important to being able to recover your account should you ever need to. I hope this is helpful. I hope this prevents you from losing your account forever. Please make sure that alternate information is up to date and present. For the article with a few more steps on which this video is based, including any updates, any comments, and of course, related links, visit askleo.com slash 15584. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.